the Chetty and the Lichens Horror Party Massacre. We're glad you joined us. You click the link. You know what this is all about. It's about a remake, reboot, reimagining, regurgitating, whatever, for Slumber Party Massacre. And we're going to look at a couple of things using a brand new technology to the channel. Let me know what you think. We're going to examine a little bit from IMDb what is going on with this new remake. Take a look. All right, so we're trying something a little bit different here where I'm actually going to share my screen. This is all done through my tele, uh, my cell phone, so we'll see how this works out. I tried doing this through the computer the other day, and it turned out to be a complete fucking disaster. In fact, I massacred it completely and totally, and it was really bad. But maybe at the end of this video, if you stick around till after the thank you, I'll post a couple uh, clips from the other attempt I did so you can see how bad that looked. In any case, we're going to take a look here at Slumber Party Massacre 2021. First thing we're going to look at is going to be the poster. Now, with the poster, my first uh, reaction is, that's pretty sharp. That's kind of cool. I see you, uh, the little logo up there, you know the drill. I like that. That's cute. That's a nice little play on words. That's kind of funny. That, that's inventive. That's cool. I can deal with that. The next thing I notice is the director down here. Danishka Esterhaz, Esterhazy, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not, but uh, I, I'm all right with that too. That director, she uh, has done a couple other movies that you may have heard of. One in specific is the Banana Splits movie, which takes animatronic characters from a TV show back in the 70s and turns them into murderous, monstrous robot things. It was fun. It was a good movie. I didn't hate it. I enjoyed it. I laughed at a couple scenes. It had some good bloodshed. So I'm good with that. She's also worked on Surreal Estate, which is a TV show that they have on Sci-Fi Channel. Me and the family just finished watching that and thoroughly enjoyed it. I know she directed at least two episodes, and I believe she's executive producer or producer on it or something. So yeah, that's I, I'm all right with the choice of director. Now, the next thing I want to point out on here is this right here. These girls, they don't look scared, except for, no, they, they don't look scared. They don't look scared. They don't look terrified. They don't look like they're being stalked by an insane killer wielding a humongous power drill. Instead, they look a lot more like they're ready to kick ass. They look like they're... Uh, daring him almost to come and get him. And while I don't have a problem with women who kick ass and don't just do stupid things like run and trip, um, I can certainly appreciate the strength, the strength of like a uh, Jamie Lee Curtis out of Halloween or, you know, a multitude of other, uh, Ripley from Aliens. I, I can dig and enjoy seeing the little bit of flip of the females being strong and not taking no shit and fighting back. However, this looks like to me more that they're not fighting back. It's like they're doing a preemptive strike, like they're after him, not vice versa. And I'm not sure I'm down with that. I don't necessarily want to see badass women starting off the whole thing kicking ass. I want to see them terrorized a little bit, as I would with anything. If it was a cast of men, I'd want to see them terrorized. This to me right here, this picture reminds me a little bit of the latest Black Christmas remake, which was abysmal. Next thing we're going to take a look at here is our actual killer on the screen. Initially, that is a halfway decent look. I don't have a problem with it. And then I, I look at it and I think, that he, it looks more like he's kind of hiding behind a tree. Part of this looks like he's standing behind a very large tree, kind of hiding. And the look on his face doesn't look like he's necessarily hiding because he's in stalker mode. It looks like he's hiding because he, he doesn't want to be found. Um, so I'm not sure I like that. I, I take it back. I don't like that. Now, granted, this is a movie poster, so a lot of times movie posters are very misrepresentative of the actual movie. But 
for this particular poster, first impression, it looks good, but it does not give me a true slumber party masker feel because uh, it looks more like it looks more like it's going to be slumber party masker in name and weapon choice only. Um, so I don't know. I, I'm still going to give it a chance. I'm not one of those guys that's a naysayer. We'll see how this works out. So that there is a look at the poster. Um, goods and bads on there. We're going to also take a look at a couple other things here. This is all again through IMDb. We went too far away. Let's go back over to it. We're going to look at our cast here. And specifically, we are going to look at Rob Van Buren. Vuen? I don't know how to pronounce that. I know I'm slaughtering it. I'm sorry. Um, he's playing our killer, Russ Thorne. And no picture here. However, if we click on him, he was in Tremors Cold Day in Hell. We're going to take a look there, and just to get a look at what he looks like, we're going down to their posters, or their pictures, and I'm going to pull up what I think is going to be a good shot of him. Right here is a shot of this guy. Let's flip the screen and try to figure out where it went. He is... The guy all the way on the far right, next to Michael Gross in the sunglasses, that's our new Russ Thorne. He doesn't have too bad a build. He doesn't have too bad of a look. That look there, obviously, it better not be on Russ Thorne's face in the movie at all. But as far as his look overall, I don't have a problem with that. I think he may be a very good choice. It'd be interesting to see what he brings to the role. I mean, he is a serial killer, a slasher. Uh, a, a gimmick killer, I guess, because he uses his power drill. Can he hold up what uh, the original actor, Michael Villelli, again, slaughtering the name, did? He, uh, we'll have to just wait and see. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he does do a good job. One other thing I've seen that they got on here that we're going to take a peek at once we jump back to the actual Slumber Party page is there are some photos on here that we will take a look at. Not a whole lot of offerings with this, but we're going to flip the screen once more and just figure out how to get rid of that shit. We have this young lady. That's a good scared picture. There's another one where they look scared. Now this here, this shot here, to me, this exterior shot looks like a cabin. I hope it's not in a cabin in the woods. This shot also looks like it is in the woods. Looks like it could be a cabin. Now, the reason I don't want a cabin in the woods is that has been done so many times. And the original one was not in the woods. I understand it makes more sense for the isolation factor because all that noise of screaming and drilling and stalking, all that noise is bound to attract attention. So it's hard to do it in your residential neighborhood. But the original one, all three of the original slumber party maskers take place in the residential area, not a cabin in the woods, which has just been done to death. And I really am... Even with my love of the 80s, it is getting old. Oh, let's all get together for one last party out in the middle of the woods. There is one more thing that I just want to talk about here with this movie is where it's going to. It's done by Raven Banner is the company, and it is going to apparently debut on the Sci-Fi Channel. Now, just being on the Sci-Fi Channel is not necessarily a death wish. It's not a death curse. They do have some good shows on there. They got Resident Alien on there that's really good. They have that uh, Surreal Estates that we just finished watching. I heard that Winona Earp is good. Um, so they got some good quality stuff. However, 
Not very many movies of theirs are very good because they always get these really crappy ones like Sharknado. Yes, I said it. Sharknado, crap. Lake Placid versus Anaconda. Jeepers Creepers 3. These are just bad movies, in my opinion. I don't care for any of them. I didn't enjoy them. I watched them, but I didn't like them. So, for me, in my book, the Sci-Fi Channel does not have a good track record for movies. And that's where this is going. So, that scares me. I'm going to keep an open mind. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to sift through all the commercials when they pop up. Or I'm going to use that time to go to the bathroom and get me some drink. But I'm not really excited at this point. Overall, like I said, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm not one of those that are automatically going to write off a remake or a reboot or a reimagining or a, a reconstituting or re-resurrecting or whatever the fuck they're calling these things these days. If you could actually leave me a message down below in the comments, what the fuck is the difference between a remake, a reboot, and a reimagine? I don't get it. But in any case, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm hoping that the picture, the poster here, is not indicative of the film. I'm hoping they're not in the woods. Let's face it, folks. I'm just hoping they don't fuck it up. Because honestly, Summer Party Massacre is one of my all-time favorite movies. I'm like that little kid in the Christmas video. Oh my God, Summer Party Massacre! I love this movie. This movie actually brought my wife and I together at the airport. She lived out of state when I met her. I flew her down to where I lived in Florida. We couldn't find each other until she was coming up an escalator and seen my shoes, seen my pants, and then seen me wearing a slumber party masker shirt and without seeing my face said, Chetty? So... That shirt helped us to find each other because who else in that whole airport would be wearing a slumber party masker shirt except for her future beloved. In any case, this movie is very near and dear to my heart. Please don't fuck it up. Please give it a chance, everybody. Don't just hate on it yet. We could luck out. And that's all we got. That's what we learned about Slumber Party Massacre just by visiting IMDb. We're going to have to all sit back and wait for it to debut on the Sci-Fi Channel to see if it's really worth it, if it's really any good, if it can match up to this true masterpiece. I love this movie so much, I hope they don't fuck it up. Let me know what you think. Do you think they're going to do good on it? Do you think it's going to be worthwhile? Do you think it's going to even be close to what this was? Let me know in the comments down there. If you liked this video, go ahead and hide under a blanket. And when that like button comes strolling around, drill that some bitch. Drill that some bitch. If you liked this video, go ahead and hide under a blanket until that some bitch comes sneaking around. If you liked that video, go ahead and hide under a blanket until that some bitch. If you liked this video, go ahead and hide under a blanket until the like button comes around and then drill that some bitch. If you want to subscribe, we may be able to order up some more pizza. But if we don't get more subscribers, you're going to be eating your pizza lukewarm off a cold body. There's a bell somewhere over here or here or over here or down there. You can go ahead and ring that ding a ling a dong and we won't drill your eyes out. I, uh... I want to thank you. Anything you want, you, you just name it. Uh, I guess everybody I can. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a video that they are doing a remake of Slumber Party Massacre, which. What the fuck is this? Okay, I don't know what the fuck that was, but. Gotta get used to it right there. Anyway, so since you.
other doing a remake to Sleepaway Camp. No, they're not. They're doing a so they're doing a remake to Sororities. Once again, hey, welcome back to our channel, Chetty and Lichen's a Slumber Party. No, hey, welcome back to our unpopular opinion. I liked the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. <gasps> there we go. Um, no, that's part three. This high tech stuff is bullshit. None of this is working out very good.